So as I understand it from questioning Mr. Gary Swan um, at that time, that agricultural employers are not exempt from the I-9 form that every other employer has to fill out. It's the same are. thing for ag employers, yes. So you, your, your association membership has to comply with the I-9 form. That's correct. Which requires you to verify and to check out to, to certify that, and under, under, under prosecution for perjury um, as the one doing the hiring that you've examined the documents presented and that they appear to be original documents, credible documents, and that you in good faith are hiring somebody. That's correct. Uh, and, and we certainly understand if somebody's been presented with false documentation that, that is misleading, but um, I, I think it's the case as a previous business owner just testified that many times when you tell somebody that you're going to have to fill this form out, we've got to see these types of ID, um, even from talking to, you know, having other testimony to us that when they've walked up to illegals and it's like an illegal is pretty forthcoming with, oh, I'm here illegally, I don't have any papers. The fish commission officer that stopped me and my family for our fishing licenses two weeks ago here in Butler County um, and said that he'd stopped some illegals and they came clean with him pretty quickly. Um, so it's, you know, and that's where our, I think the wink and a nod situation is what's occurring um, in a lot, with a lot of employers. That yeah. Well, I would disagree with respect to agriculture. Um, ag agriculture is unique. Um, first of all, uh, when, when, you, when you look at the advocacy community for workers' rights with respect to agriculture, they, they, will, they will certainly go after farmers, and they have done so historically. I don't know, I can't speak for construction, I can't speak for some of the other trades, but with respect to agriculture, because of the history, and we have to go back you know, 75, 80 years when you want to talk about exploitation of workers, there was a problem back then, and, and people became activated within uh, the advocacy community and started taking, uh, taking action. So that continues, and it continues where exploitation doesn't occur. Um, I, I'm afraid that the litigation uh, industry is just that. It is an industry, and it is about making money at the end of the day. Um, I don't mean to be cynical, but that's, that's what our members have seen. We've had nurseries where uh, legal services attorneys have set up shop in vans outside of the entrance to the nursery and have waited for a worker to come out having been refused a job. Then they have quickly invited them inside the van and said, okay, uh, we think you, know, you didn't get the job, so you were probably discriminated against, so let's, let's start filling out some paperwork and we'll get a lawsuit going. going. So, I mean, that's, that's just one example of, of what we've seen with respect to, to the advocacy 